very wet in there. So what are you doing? I'm trying to split up these irises to put into my pond. <laughs> <laughs> your new, fresh, beautiful pond. And what's your place called? Bosco's Garden. Excellent. And what are you doing in Bosco's Garden? Um, we're doing a market garden and basing it all on permaculture design. Uh, we have all sorts of crops uh, and people come to the farm every Friday and we do restaurants. <gasps> in town as well. Fantastic. And where are you based? Just outside Kilkenny. On which road? Uh, just off the Callan Road. Just off the Callan Road, very close to um, the city in yeah. that respect. Yeah, just two, three kilometres outside the city. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and these irises, they're my yellow flag irises, which are uh, you're going to be planting in your lovely plant. Look at that, roots. roots. I mean, they are monsters. <laughs> yeah, no, keep going. As you can see, I have plenty of them. <laughs> I'm not short of um, yellow flag irises. And it'll give space for the rest of them to go. <laughs> and I much prefer you doing that job than me. <laughs> so... This is going to be a full bucket in no time. Okay, ladies. Now, what are we doing here? We're going to take a bit of frog spawn and inoculate my pond with it. And this is also because you have tour groups. So you do educational things to do with gardening and biodiversity and things like that at Bosco's yeah. Garden. We do, yeah. Um, we do tours every every Friday. Every Friday you yeah, do tours. When we're oh, doing that's... the shop as well, yeah. Ah, very yeah. good. So anyone who comes to buy vegetables. Can... So we're yeah. gonna just there's loads of frog spawn. I mean oceans of it here. So you're only taking a little bit of it. Yeah, once to leave more than we take. Oh definitely, because I mean if you look here, I mean it's packed with it all over here. Loads of it. Let's look at it. It's very goopy, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. There's and oh, there's lots of little babies. Oh, maybe you can't see it in the film. Okay, so only taking oh look, here's a baby. We need to rescue this baby. There we go. There. And I mean this is just chock a block with frog spawn. So what you're taking is a tiny, tiny percentage of it for educational purposes and to inoculate your <laughs> pond and introduce frogs. Exactly, yeah. Which are great for eating the slugs. Great for eating slugs as well as uh, insect larvae in the pond. Yeah. And also over time, hopefully you'll get like what we have are those killer beetles. Those amazing ones with the big pincers. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I videoed one of those a couple of years ago, literally devouring tadpoles. And... Um, uh, what are they called when they study insects? <laughs> what are those people called? Scientists. Ent entomologists. Entomologist was saying uh, that what's really good when you have ponds that have that particular, it's the top predator. And that means that your pond and the farm biodiversity is really good. So I was like, oh no, my pa poor baby tadpoles, as I saw it devouring and hunting. And I managed to video it, it was amazing. Um, and then I was like, oh, good. <laughs> Quick, eat more of my tadpoles. It means that I've got good biodiversity. <laughs> it's all about balance. It's all about balance, exactly. So loads. I mean, this is chock-a-block, wall-to-wall frog spawn. So, and then you're going to let it acclimatize in the pond that you're putting it in. Yeah, let it get to the same temperature. And then release them. Okay, well, I look forward to hearing how they multiply. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Be very